into the future, as well as a current revolutionary rethinking of aviation, baggage and cargo transportation. The way we do it is each vehicle has got a map um, contained within the vehicle uh, and each vehicle has got exactly the same map and that map contains all of the routes that the vehicle is allowed to operate on and then the vehicle is given uh, effectively a, a job so I want you to pick up this unit from position A and I want you to take it to position B and um, it follows that map but in real time it is localizing to that map so it uses uh, lidars, it uses uh, stereo color cameras and a whole raft of other sensors. The automated driving software and the control software that operates multiple fleets is all developed and designed in this Coventry factory. Arigo has also seen recent successes with autonomous road passenger vehicles. So the 10-seater shuttle uh, bus, um, that has been operating um, in the UK in multiple locations and we've just completed our first European uh, deployment, so that was in Prague. The routes that we were covering were mixed traffic, real live mixed traffic and quite long routes, so in excess of 5 kilometer up to 10 kilometer routes. So really testing the capability of the vehicles. We had probably the most press coverage I think we've ever had for a deployment, so we were really pleased with all of that. But the current focus is aviation. Within the next five years, Arigo wants to scale operations at airports, with full fleets of autonomous vehicles giving us a very different and futuristic looking glimpse out of the window before jetting off on holiday.